Greetings everybody, my name's Tommy the Game Master and welcome to my channel. A quick channel update, my computer crashed a few weeks ago, heatsink stopped working so I've been gone for a few weeks but I managed to actually build my first gaming rig and it's up and running and running quite good. I do have a few games planned like a review of Pokemon Shining Pearl or Pokemon Stanky Poo. It's not going to be a good review at all. Um, but I do have that running. I also do want to play through some of the Final Fantasy Pixel Perfect Remastered. Someone has asked me to play through Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World and do another character analysis. I will play through it and I will try to do something I don't know quite as much as what they're asking me to do, but uh, I will see what I can do about getting new ideas up, and if my new gaming rig allows it and my new capture card does it okay, I would like to stream that game while I play through it, so that's something I'm doing. But anyways, another thing I'm going to be doing um, is a few years ago I used to, on Fridays, kind of go through the sales and list what would be good weekend sales. I kind of like to return to that, maybe not do it every week if I don't have time or energy, I'm not going to do it, but if I do, I would like to talk about what's on sale, especially if there's a big sale going on. And this week, uh, I do have a few sales to report. The first one is on Chrono Trigger, and this one's only going to be available for a few hours after I post this video, so if you're seeing it not long after I post it, hurry to the Steam storefront page. It is on sale for half price at $7.50. The reason why this one's on sale is Square Enix um, did a major update. They made it widescreen, and with the few exception of some of the rooms that I've seen, it's actually a pretty decent upgrade. I haven't played through the whole game again, but just playing through the dungeon here, it looks pretty good, and the widescreen really helps with that UI change being a lot more bearable and actually an improvement upon the original. Um, Chrono Trigger is worth $15 regular price, don't get me wrong, but half off makes it an even better deal. Then there's also this Capcom Publisher sale that I'm seeing. And although there's a lot of games available, not a lot of them are exactly up my um, forte as far as Capcom stuff goes. Um, Resident Evil and Devil May Cry are good game series. Um, I have played through Devil May Cry 4 and I thought it was a fairly fun game. Um, I've also played through DMC, and uh, that is a game I do want to review one of these days. Never have I seen a game that was actually rock solid and super fun in the gameplay be completely destroyed by its own fan base and made kind of a miserable experience completely due to its story. And it's not because the story is lame, it's not because the story takes up too much time with cutscenes, the story is offensive. It really, really is offensive. Um, whoever wrote that story needs help. You know, just watching it, you kind of just get that, you know, feeling the person who um, made that needs help. But I do want to talk about it one of these days. I have it on the Xbox One, and I kind of want to play through it on that since it's a physical copy. And afterwards, find a way to relieve myself of it, because... I don't really like that game that much because of the story. But uh, there are a few games on the Capcom bundle um, that's on sale that I do recommend. Um, we have the Disney Afternoon Collection. Um, I do have some DuckTales footage playing right there, but there's more than just DuckTales. You have Chippendales Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, plus DuckTales 2 and Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2. Um, all of them are pretty fun games. Tailspin even being the weakest of the link, it's still a pretty decent experience worth trying. And for five bucks, it's a freaking steal. If you do love DuckTales, um, the Steam version of DuckTales Remastered is available for $3.74. It's not as good as the original NES game, but WayForward did try. And um, since we've had so many of the... Um, DuckTales voice actors kind of pass away in the last several years. Um, having this kind of remaster shot like a lost episode of DuckTales where you do hear the original voices of Scrooge McDuck as well as Huey, Dewey, and Louie 
does make this game a treat, so definitely pick up DuckTales Remastered for $3.74 as well. Um, we also have Okami, which is just a freaking fun game. It's a Legend of Zelda game where instead of an elf, you play as a white wolf. And um, it's also a lot more action-packed than um, most Legend of Zelda games. It's a really fun game, got a great art style, and it does a really fun twist on Japanese folklore. So definitely check that one out as well. There's a few games in here that I have in my library, but I haven't yet to play, like Dark Void and Dark Void Zero. But since I haven't played them, I can't really recommend them, even though they're uh, less than $5. And then we also have, um, for $11.99, my expensive game this week is um, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Basically, all your versions of Street Fighter 2, all your versions of the Alpha series, and all your versions of Street Fighter 3, as well as the original Street Fighter, which isn't worth playing, um, are all available in this collection for $11.99. It's definitely worth a pickup. This is Tommy the Game Master thanking you for watching. If you have any comments or other deals you think I should be interested in, please let me know down below. You have a wonderful day.